Oh. Give it all and praise to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Shah. You got a bad accent of the Most High. Right. Brother, down there with the blue on. Call him out. Brother, down there with the blue. The black jacket on backpack. Brother, down there with the gray jacket on with the three on it. Brother, down there with the red. Sister, that's smoking that cigarette. You believe in the Bible? Brother with the wig on his head. You say you love Jesus? Well, guess what? I, a lot of people say they love him. Give me Luke 6 and 46. A lot of people say they love Jesus, right? But we're going to show you what Christ said to the people that, that said that they love him, right? Bring it out. We just read out the Bible, right? This ain't something I made up. This is what Christ said. Watch this read. The book of St. Luke, chapter 6, verse 46. Read it out. So if you say you love love Christ, definitely that means you believe in his word then, right? Read it. Why call ye me Lord, Lord? And do not the things which I say. But you said you love him, but, the, but Christ said, Why call you me Lord, Lord, and don't do the things I say? Because a lot of people call on Christ and say, Christ, they save you, say, Christ, lead and guide them, but they don't do the stuff that Christ say. What about what? The carnal question. What do you say? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, carnal question. I don't know what a carnal question is. What is a carnal question, bro uh, brother? What do you say? I know, but the Lord, the Lord said, "I give you space to repent." Right. But a lot of people right. don't want to repent. Right. But you don't. But you can't give forgiving for your sin to go back and do the same thing over and over again and think the Lord gonna forgive you, brother. That's right. It don't work that way. Just God deals with it like like He deals with sons and sons and daughter, right? Right. You said what, brother? Yeah, he forgive you, but I don't mean that you're going to keep and do the same thing over and over again, right? right? Give me Hebrews 10 and 26 right quick. No. Well, we just read the Bible, like, right? Because I, I don't want to I don't want to just keep absorbing my word. We're going to see what the Bible say, right? Watch this read. Book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. I want this train to go by because we got to get a better understanding when we read things, man. Right? Go on on by train a little bit more. I, I ain't got a dang, it's a big train yeah, this time, <laughs> Yeah, dang it. It's one of the longest trains I ever seen come to the station, man. <laughs> God dang it, man. Hey, this must be the mega train or something. Right? Hey, man, y'all know y'all, y'all, y'all know y'all nationality coming off the train? Y'all know what nation y'all come from, man? Talk to you too, brother, with the on, white and orange shirt. You too, brother, you too, brother. Talk to all y'all, y'all know y'all, y'all know y'all know y'all nationality, man. Do y'all know what God called y'all to be? Hey, so, hey, two sisters, man. Two sisters. Hey, man, give me a for a second, man. Come here, sisters. Right? Give me Leviticus chapter 20. Bring it out, man. man. Bring it out. Right? Yeah, we're going to hold that 10 to 26. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. We don't give a damn how long they're trying to go. We're going to start edifying on this side. Bring it the book of Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Yeah. If a man also lie with mankind, uh -huh. as he lies with a woman, Read. both of them have committed an abomination. So the Lord said it's an abomination. But to your question over there, brother, he said, he said, we supposed to be, like God said, we supposed to forgive our brother seven times seven, right. but that ain't got nothing to do with your repentance, man. Right? right. Read it. The book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully. What the Bible says. For if we sin willfully. Why is the Bible talking about a willful sin? Because if you can be, if you can just do sin over and over again, then that means you can you can't willful sin. Right? We love you too, but you gotta be, you gotta keep the commandments or die, man. Read. Right. That, we have received the knowledge of the truth. Uh -huh, read. There are many. No more sacrifice for sin. Guess what, man? The people don't understand it. There's no more sacrifice for your sin, man, if you just keep doing it over and over again, man. Right? Because then you'll be going into what? Willful sinning. That's right. Right? Hey, brother with the red. Boy, slow as you walk, you like, you don't catch that train, man. You know your nationality. <laughs> Bro, you know your nationality with the red hoodie on, man? Hey, sister, with the black shirt on, you know your nationality? Sister, I'm talking to you, too. Sister, with the guy that's carrying the baby, that's pushing the baby. What about you, brother, with the black on? I'm calling everybody out in the threshold, man. That's right. Right? Do you know your, do you know your nationality, brother? <laughs> do you know you God's chosen people? Or do you think just, just that man's going to save you, man? Don't you know the most high God is our refuge, man? 
Because a lot of people just want to a lot of people, man, in this earth, man. We love our people, man, but the Lord can't use a lot of our people, man. Right? right? Give me uh, Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14 right quick, man. Because the Lord, the Lord say it plainly, man. Like these scriptures say what they say, man. Right, read it up. The book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 14. Yeah, For many are called. What the Bible say? For many are called. What you think we out here on these streets doing? We calling out to you brothers and sisters, man. Hey, brother with the blue on, man. Back, man. Yeah, I know you look down at your shirt, man. I'm talking to you, man. I said, brother with the blue on, he did just like this. Yeah, your shirt blue, man. Come on back here, man. Dialogue with us, man. We keep, man, we ain't hard to get along with, man. Guess what, man? We was once hood Negroes too. We believed in all of that too. Guess what? We we all we all come from the streets too. But guess what? The Lord the Lord built us up and showed us who we were as a nation of people. Now we're going to get more people to show who so show, show them who we are, man. That's right. And show them who they are, man. So they can go get more and more people, man. Right? So brother, hey brother, what's your nationality, man? You got a good beard, man. And hey, where you from? Where you from? Corsa County, country boy, huh? How long you been here? Got two weeks. You believe in the Bible? I don't know, man. Let me see, man. Where your friends is at? Yeah. If you believe in the Bible, you should know something about it, right? So if you can do all things through Christ and Scripture, then Christ and Scripture, you know enough to get you some friends on your side, right? <laughs> See, because guess what, man? The Lord, the Lord wants us to learn, right? right? But guess what? He don't just want us to learn. He wants us to learn to go teach other people, right? right. Go give me that in Sirach, man. Chapter 33. Also, give me that Psalm chapter 51, right? I'm going to show you something right quick. Give, give me a couple of precepts right quick. You got pace. Oh, praise, man. Right? Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 33, verse 17. Yeah. Consider that I labor not for myself only. So the Lord said we don't just labor for ourselves only, right? Read. But for all them that seek learning. But for everybody that seek learning, guess what? This is what we this is what we come out. We study all week long, right? Give me that give me that in Sur Surah chapter 24, right? I want that one too. That's the one that for wisdom, right? Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 34. Behold, that I have labor not for myself only, uh -huh. but for all them that seek learning. wisdom. Guess what? This is what we're doing it for, learning. One of them say learning, man. One of them say learning, man. Learning, man. Learning, man. <laughs> right? Give me Psalm chapter 51. We're going to start at verse, uh, watch this. So, we're going to start at verse 7. But watch this. As we learn who our God is, and as we learn what we have to do, guess what we're doing? The Lord starts to do what? Cleanse us up. How does the Lord cleanse us up? Through his word, right? Watch this read. Psalms 51, 7. Purge me with his up. So he said, purge, this is King David telling actually the Lord to purge him with his up. His up is going into soap, right? Read. And I shall be clean. And he said, he shall be clean, read. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Uh -huh, read on. Make me to hear joy and gladness, uh -huh. that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. So guess what? He asking the Lord to restore him. And guess what, man? And also to give him joy and gladness, right? This is the reason why we got in trouble, because we just serve our God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. So now the Lord, the greatest nation on the planet, just think about it, they can't beat us in nothing. Running, fighting, pushing, nothing. You can't think of nothing. If we, guess what, thumping, I don't care what you do, right? They can't beat us in nothing. But guess what? Even going into evil, they can't beat us, they can't beat us in evil. You see a gay white man walking down the street, guess what? You going harder than we get. You see a gay black man, you can see it on him. He, he, he the wildest thing in the world, right? He'll come up in that mug, man, and be, he'll, he'll just bust out a twerk or something, man. You know what I'm saying? He'll just do the craziest stuff, right? But when we come to our God and he started to cleanse us up, Guess what? We all thought we all thought we were from the hood, but we thought we were some of the coldest things in the city, right? But when the Lord touched us, though, and He gave us His word, it ain't coincidence that the Lord that you came by here, man. The Lord got our paths. So when He got our path, guess what? It's something that you had to hear today, right? But well, watch this read. Hide thy face from my sin. So he said, "What? Hide thy face from my sin." Guess what, man? We actually guess what? We all just think about all those brothers, man. We and the sisters too. 
we want God to hide his faith from our sins too. Because everybody out here done did something they don't want nobody to know about. Right. But guess what? Between you and God, hey, 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 he, he know. Don't nobody else know, but you and God know this. Right? Guess right. Because this is how God works. But guess what? He don't, he don't want to expose you. He wants you to do what he's what, what, what he supposed to do. That's why he told, that's the same thing he was telling Cain. He said, if you do well, you'll be accepted. But if you do it not well, sin lied at the door and it will have dominion over you. Right? And we don't want that for ourselves, right? But watch this though. Read. And blot out all my iniquities. Uh -huh. Create in me a clean heart. So this is this is how the Lord started creating us in a clean heart. That's why that's why we ask our brothers and sisters and try to teach our brothers and sisters to try to start keeping the commandments. That's why I ask you about the fringes. This is a commandment. Why you think they can bring a whole race of people over here on slave ships but naked? Why? What what makes the what what make you want to bring somebody over here naked? Because we had these on our clothes. This was part of our commandments. If you take our heritage away, you take our laws away. Now you can create a law for us. You can create a heritage for us. That's why we call ourselves black, and that goes back to a crayon. That's not us, brother. Why you think the so-called Hispanics, the Indians in, 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 the, in, the, in the natives that, in the, that was over this land, they had these on their clothes? Why do you think that? We are the same people. But guess what? To oppress a, per a person, you got to take away their history. And guess what? And the white people are the best in the world to create history. People say they read the Bible, but the characters in the Bible mean things. When God talk about Edom, that's the so-called white man in the Bible. But guess what? You ain't never seen a movie called Edom. You see a movie about everything else in the Bible, why you don't see a movie called Edom? And that's the biggest villain. That's, that's God's mortal enemy. That's who Christ said he's going to destroy personally. Why is that? Why they ain't got a, they got a movie about everything else? Why they ain't got a movie about that? They got Christ white. They got Daniel's white. They got, they got the devil white. They got, he is white. But they got what? They got Moses white. Everybody, every person in the pop, in the Bible was white. Give me Job 9 and 24 right here. Why we, why we read, just read. Oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Uh -huh. Cast me not away from thy presence, uh -huh. and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. This is King David, asking not to take the Holy Spirit from him, right? But like you say, this is why we got the horns on the so-called white Jesus, right? Why? Because it did read. The book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Yeah. Yeah. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who? He said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who who, the, who controls the earth? Lord. But who the what race of people that the Lord gave the earth to? The white men. Right. So the Lord said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So the white man is what? The wicked, right? Right? right. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. So. If he gave us an image of Christ being white, he covered that face. If you ever, if you know anything about furniture, you got furniture. Furniture comes from wood. So get what? Furniture is, is naturally brown or black, but when they want to paint it, what they call it? Whitewash. Boom! Whitewash to brainwash, huh? Right. Right? That's why, guess what? The Lord washed all this away from us. We don't, this right here, we don't subscribe to no more. That's right. Right? We go as, as the Bible as it is written, though, right? right. right. Watch this, read. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. So now, he said, restore unto him the joy of the salvation, right, read. And uphold me with thy free spirit. Uh -huh, read on. Then will I teach transgression. So after the Lord put the spirit on, on, on us, now we can go out and teach. This is what the Lord had to do to each and every one of us that got these fringes on, man. They grow our beards out. They keep the Sabbath day. They keep the commandments, man. Guess what? Not just because we wanted to be in the truth and we just wanted to just show our, our friends is not going, but no, we wanted to go out here. Look, it's a whole nation of people that don't know this. That, that don't know this. They got to know this too. That's why, that's why the Lord said the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Because everybody that hear this word, they're not going to want to come do this work. That's right. That's right. But now, guess what? The Lord called them for people to actually come to do this work, man. The time is getting short. Look at how, how, how fast the day's going. You will wake up, it's Monday. Guess what, you wake up now, it's Friday evening. 
Why do you think this is happening? Why do you think it's wars and rumors of war? We've been mumbling them and talking about this for a long time. This is actually on the on the plate right now. It's time to put this down on plot and see do it matter, man, because this word is where it's at, bro. This is where it is. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna get around this. Just Cause guess what? The Lord is undefeated. Whether you choose him or not, brother. That's right. Right? right. Read. 13 from the top. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways, uh -huh. and sinners shall be converted unto thee. He said, and sinners, after, after we learn God's words, he said, sinners gonna be converted unto thee. Right? You didn't know that fringes was a commandment. So when you break in God, if you if the Lord say to put this on your clothes and you don't do it, what is that? It's a sin, right? Give me John chapter, chapter five, verse three, right quick. Now you hold what you can, he, you hold all that. He, I'm gonna work your hood for a second. John chapter five, verse, no, not John, John chapter three, verse four, read. Three and four. The book of John, three, verse four. Nicodemus saith unto him, how can a man be born? First John chapter three, verse four. Come on, man, I'm talking about seeing y'all. Stay with me, man. About to come on this side for the work him the devil, man. Hey. <laughs> you ready to work too? Read up. Read it. First John 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin. Now, whosoever committed sin, read. Transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws, right? So now we're going to read Numbers chapter 15 to verse 38. Don't you know growing your beard out, that's a law? Did you know that? But guess what? Go to, give me uh give me Leviticus, man. Right, chapter 21. Give me the beard. Come on with this number 15 to 38. Right, read it. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel. He said, speak unto the children of Israel. How do we know that we the children of Israel? Right? Because it's a whole nother nation calling themselves Jews. Now we telling the world, no, no, no. That's us. How can we call ourselves Jews, man? Do you know? Well, we better tell you. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, man. Yeah, bring it this is why we know we the Jews of the Bible. Because nothing, no other race fits, fits this character. Bring because when the Lord explains Edom, we can tell Edom is a so-called white man because the Lord explains every attribute of what Edom does and who he is as a, as a, as a people. So when you change, uh -huh. explain the children of Israel, he explained every attribute of the children of Israel and their, their talk unto the conversations and everything the Lord explains on who the children of Israel are, right? Even to the things that we go through on a day to day, right? But watch this read. Start at 15. Yes, yeah, start at 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. For the Lord said if we wouldn't hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right? If we wouldn't listen to our God, right, read. To observe. To do what? Yeah. To, to observe. observe. To look upon, read. To do all his commandments. And to do all his commandments, read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I commanded thee this day. Uh -huh. read. That all these curses. That what? That, that all, all these curses. curses. That all these curses. Now, what nation of people is cursed, man? No, the white people curse? Who stay in the hoods? Who stay in the ghettos? Who the last hire first fire? Who, guess what? We work for them. They don't work for us. That's right? We is cursed like e mud. This is the children of Israel, man. This is why we know who we are. We know we, we, know we the children of Israel because we can prove it. Through the curses, right? right. But watch this read. What you commanded thee this day uh -huh. that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Uh, so guess what? Now the Lord said He gonna put so many curses upon us, it's gonna overtake us, right? Watch this. These are the attributes. Watch this read. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Now who cursed in every city? And all the hoods that you go to, who cursed? It's us. It ain't them. They live in the best of the best, right? They they live they live there. Then guess what? They got they got the fatness of it. Guess what, man? The police, they they patrol our neighborhood. Guess what? The police not allowed to go in their neighborhood unless somebody called them. Right? That's the difference between the two. It's a level to this, right? Well, watch you read. Cursed that thou be in the city. He said, cursed that we be in. We cursed in every city all over the world. Every country we curse, right? Read. And cursed that thou be in the field. We was cursed what? Tobacco field, rice field, corn field, bean field. We chopped cotton. That's what we done. We was the field, Negro. That's right. That's right. Well, when in history that you got them like that? This us. That's right. We was up on the servitude like that, right? That's why we can identify who we are because of the curses, right? Right. Right. 
Jump down verse 44. Verse 44, he shall lend to thee. So guess what? Is are we lending to them or they lending to us? They lending to us, right? We go to their banks, right? We go to their institutions, we go to their schools, we go to their stuff, right, Reed? Right. He shall lend to thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt not lend to him. So guess what, and we ain't lending to them. Guess what, Kanye West, guess what? And they got mad because Kanye West talking about some stuff. No, they got mad at Kanye West because Kanye West wanted to start a bank. So when he still wanted to start that bank, guess what happened? They took his money in one night. Everything I'm saying, he has a full-blown interview for four hours explaining how he was fit to get ready and, do, and get a bank. But since they seen a Negro trying to uprise, no sir. Bill Cosby went to jail. Why? He ain't went to jail for the bottle for Percocet for the women. He went to jail because he finna buy a whole uh, a, 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 a channel. Right? CBS. We've been about a whole, a whole channel. I'm like, hell no. Wait, Comcast? Uh, I think CBS. I thought it was NBC. 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 He was in the, he was in the body, right? So, but if we try to, we try to rise up like that, you think they want another Black Wall Street around here, man? You think they want another Rosewood around here? Hell no. They can't win like that. The only way they can win is what? Keep us at the bottom. Right. And right. every nation, not just the so-called white man, but every nation outside of that, they want to make sure they keep us at the bottom too. And they all going to work together just to put all of us on bottom. It, it's 18 nations in the Bible. It takes 17 nations to put us under submission. That's how great of a nation that we are. Guess what? If two of the nations let up, we'll start rising up. Guess what? Then they'll come right back, they'll come right back together again, and they'll put us right back in the submission. That's right. That's Psalm chapter 83. The Bible say what they say, right? Read, read, read. He shall lend to thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt not lend to him. Uh -huh, read. He shall be the head. He shall do what? He, he shall, shall be, be the, the head. head. Guess what, man? The so-called white man is in charge of everything. That's right. Why do our children got to go to their damn schools? Why do our children got to go to their colleges? Before, it, and I know a lot of people that was born way before, they was born before me. I know my pops used to tell me, all that stuff that y'all learn is that y'all gotta go to college. Well, we used, we used to learn that. We used to learn that trade before all of that. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to go. We had to go to that trade school to get there. We got all that. They knew how to well. They know how to do all kind of stuff. Plumbing. They know how to do all that stuff. But now you got to get their certifications and going through all that stuff because they got to control every narrative. That's why he's the head right now. That's because right. if he wasn't the head, he would control the narrative of how we make our money, and then therefore we wouldn't right. spend our money with them. That's right. Hey. Right. Read. He shall be the head, and thou shall be the tail. Uh -huh, read. Moreover, all these curses. Moreover, all these curses. This is what we. This is how we identify who we are, man. Read. Shall come upon thee, and, and shall pursue thee, and, shall pursue thee read. and overtake thee. So guess what? It's not a coincidence that you'll see a black man. Guess what? Get into it with the police, and they gun him down. That's not a coincidence, right? And after they gun him down, what happened after they gun us down? Give me Zechariah eleven and five. What happened after they gun us down? Guess what? They hold themselves not guilty, right? They go to court, they gonna be like, not guilty. He just killed the black man, he done got go for me, all kind of stuff, right? Watch, watch what the scriptures say right quick, watch it. Zechariah 11 and 5, whose possessors slay them. Guess what? We upon the day possessions because guess what? We got their last names. Our last name, Johnson, Brian, Williams, Green, Gray, you see how that is, Stewart, these are, these are our last, these are so-called white men, white men last names. These are not our last names. But guess what, if you live, your, your great-great-grandpa was on, was on the plantation, whatever master last name is, that's whatever your last name go be, right? Why, it's not a coincidence that's a piece of white boy last name is Green, and it's a black guy, guy last name is Green. We ain't got the same forefathers, but how is our last name still the same? Because white person, because we're in their possession, right? right. Or read. And hold themselves not guilty. And hold themselves, they guess what they said, who possess us, slay them and hold themselves not guilty. They kill us and go. we go to their court system, hold themselves not guilty. Why? Because check, great granddaddy is the judge. Granddaddy is the prosecutor. Father is the DA. All his cousins is the police. Everybody in jail, that's the that's the deputies and stuff that's in jail. Everything, guess what? All of them is their family. 
So when I do that and I, when I want to take him to court, they looking at you like, fool, you know this is how I kill people. You think we're going to lock him up? Man, you, you just got killed. There ain't no different. That's a modern day lynching. You put a so-called black man on a tree. Put a rope on his neck, right in front of all, right in front of the judge, right in front of the prosecutor, right in front of the DA. They put a rope around our neck, put us on a tree, and kill us in front of everybody. What's the difference? Guess what? The modern day lynching is they shoot us down in the streets, and you don't do nothing about it, and they ain't or nobody else gonna do nothing about it either. All right? Watch this reading. So like. It, and overtake thee uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Till we be destroyed, we don't. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. See, this is why the Lord it was mad at us because we weren't listening to him. Right? Not just because we weren't listening to us, a little bit more on it, read. To keep his commandments. To keep his commandments. And his statutes, uh -huh. which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For a sign. And for a wonder. He said, guess what? The Lord said, these curses out of this Bible gonna be a, a sign for y'all to know who we are as a people. This is our sign. So when we call ourselves Israelites, the sign is the curse is on us. Name another nation that goes through the curses like we going through. This bit us to the T. That's why we can identify, you know what, we are Israelites. Right. I ain't no so-called black man. I'm an Israelite, right? right. right. And guess what, if your, son, your father is so-called black man, you'll be Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. That's right? right? But guess what, you think they'll teach you that in school? You think they'll teach you that in theological school? Uh -huh. They're not gonna do it. Them cemetery schools, guess what? It's to put a person in a cemetery. We call it cemetery school, right? Cause they ain't doing but killing our people. Cause at the end of the day, guess what? If the top dope dealer in Dallas, he could be the, uh, the, the, the murderer, the killer of every, every neighborhood. They go to T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes supposed to be the, the biggest top, the top, one of the top preachers in the world. They go to his church and his mama giving them a good donation. Guess what? The top drug dealer that were killing everybody in the neighborhood, guess what? T.D. Jason put him in heaven right there in front of everybody. So you know he's a good man. And the Lord going to accept him. No, the Lord finna, the Lord finna judge him, man. Right? Because if he ain't repented and come back, because guess what? You can't repent as a nigga. It's nothing, it's nothing in that Bible that tells us that the Lord going to accept niggas in the kingdom. No, he's going to accept Israelites into the kingdom. That's right. That's why we're trying to get our brothers and sisters to see to repent as an Israelite so you can understand that the Lord wants you to, hey, come back to, come back to his law, statutes, and commandments so we can be able to get back on high again, man. Uh, right. right? We've been getting in trouble far too long for our, from our God, man. And it's now it's time for us to come back to where we, where we was at, man. Right? Read it. And, and it shall be for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So guess what? These curses was upon us forever. Guess what? Did your daddy have to work? Did your granddaddy have to work? What about his, what about his granddaddy? On, on down the line. And guess who they working for? White men. Right? I'm asking them a question. Watch this. See if they gonna lie. Have y'all paid for this? Don't turn your head now. Have y'all paid for this? Have y'all paid for this? Uh-huh. Now y'all trying to act like y'all having a conversation. You see how they do it? That's what a snake will do, man. Go. Hey, so-called white man. Have you ever paid for slavery? Yeah, I know. He was over there trying to, he was trying to critique our teaching at first, but now it's time to deal with him. He, that's how they do. <laughs> but don't you know the Lord said they gonna be in captivity too? Yeah, That's why I said the Lord said they the head right now, we the tail, but guess what? We gonna be the head too. Give me Revelation chapter 13, man. Uh -uh. Read. Book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. But guess what? I'm pretty sure you got some ears, right? Guess what? You do too. So guess what? We're gonna, we're gonna say it real good. Watch it. He that led us into captivity shall go into captivity. The Lord said, anybody that led us into captivity, they gonna go into captivity, right? Read. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Can we just read in Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5? They, they kill us and hold themselves not guilty. Guess what? This is what the Lord say, man. But you need to come get some of this word too, man. Right? Guess what? Say he that lead it. Bro, they got to pay for that. They ain't never paid for it, is it? But they gonna pay for it. So how? If they ain't never paid for it, how are all of us gonna be in the kingdom together when they ain't never paid for it? Right. 
it makes no sense, huh? That's because they don't know how to teach the Bible. They teach the Bible because they want to be one nation under God. And guess what? As long as they, they can be God and you can be the nation that they that we that fall up under them. Yeah, that's good news, brother. You, right? one of these, brother. you believe in the I Bible, got one. Bro? I got one. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, 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 you probably done made me here tonight. I, I, I've been confused, but yeah, I, I thought I was right. I'm trying to, I believe, I believe in the Bible. I'm trying to see them sign. Try yeah. with Judah, man. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's good news. Y'all doing good. I'm waiting it's, on this. This is the gospel, man. Yeah, that's this right. This ain't the ghetto gospel. gospel. This is the real gospel. That's right. It's a real one. It's a fake one, man. Guess what? They, they teach the fake one. We got to teach the real one, man. We gonna come out here to the streets and read it as, as it is written, man. The Lord said, He that lead it into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword, right? Read the rest of it. Watch this. Watch what it say. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So. That's not wicked, and that's not evil, because the Lord said that's our patience. We got to wait on the Lord to put them into captivity, and guess what, and to slay them too. That's our patience. We patiently waiting for God to do that to them. Because if the scripture said, you know God said he's a man that he should not lie. Right, according to Numbers chapter 19, right? You know, Numbers chapter 22, verse 19, right? Said God is not a man that he should lie, right? Let's go back to the curses right quick, man. Bring it up. Right. Jump down to verse uh, 68. We'll give you some history right quick. Read. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into the land of, into Egypt again with ships. So he said now, the Lord said he's going to bring, so like, knowing that you Israel, guess what? Well, you know the history of Israel, the children of Israel did what? They was in Egypt in slavery, right? So, but now, the second time the Lord said he's going to bring us back into Egypt again, what? The second time with ships. Who, what nation, what nation went on slavery on slave ships? Huh? The Negroes, right? That's pretty funny, huh? Uh-huh. Right? See? But I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some more about. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. Watch this. I'm gonna give you some more. I'm gonna give you some more history. Over there in Egypt, they got a river running through it, right? Right. It's called the Nile River, right? Over in here in America, they got a they got a river running through it, right? Yeah, Mississippi River, right? Over there in, the, in Egypt, they got a town. They got a city called Memphis, right? It sits off the river, right? Over in here, they got we got a city over here sits off the river called Memphis, right? Over there in that Memphis, they got a pyramid, right? Over here in our Memphis, over here got a pyramid too. That's mighty damn funny. Over there, they got a Ramsey in they, in they Memphis too. And over here, got a Ramsey in our Memphis too. I grew up seeing this all my life. So guess what? The modern day Egypt is America. That's right. They can say that it's not, but look at the comparison. It lines up perfectly, right? And Egypt just means bondage, right? According to Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2, right? Egypt just means just bondage, right? But watch this though. So the Lord said he's gonna bring them back into slavery again with ships. And we the only nation that done that, right? But read this. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So when we got out those slave ships, what, who, what, we, what we sold? This is what we did. Nigga, 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 sold the Master Johnson down there in, in Texas. That's nigga, right. nigga, nigga, sold the Master Charles down there in South Carolina. That's nigga, right. nigga, nigga, sold the Master Mark down there in Tennessee. That's, That's right. how they did us, brother. That's right. When we came off through slave ship, they sold us, man. Right. right? But watch this read. And you shall be sold unto your enemies. Uh -huh. For bond men. For what? For bond men. For slave men, read. And bond oh, women. And slave women, man, read on. And no oh, man shit. shall buy it. He said no man can redeem us out of this captivity, man. Right. Jesse Jackson could do it. Marcus Garvey couldn't do it. Guess what? Bloods and Crips couldn't do it. Guess what? Martin Luther King couldn't do it. Malcolm X can't do it. Farrakhan can't do it, man. Right. It's got to be Christ is one on the real black, the black Messiah, the one that will have to redeem us out of this thing. That's right. The same one that's gonna gonna take us. Guess what's gonna put the so-called oppressors in the captivity? Guess what? That's who else who's gonna that's who got the power to redeem us. No other person can do that, man. Right. Right? But to build up to know who you are, brother, this is something that we have to start digging into, man. And I'm glad that you took a fly, brother. You need to make sure that, guess what? Hey, come build with your brothers, man. We got a school and everything, man. 
Yeah, we got a school, man. Guess what? We got Passover coming up, man. We're going to be slaughtering the lamb. We're going to keep the feast, man. And guess what, man? We're going to have a big celebration and everything, man. In the name of the Lord, though, That's for right. real, for real. That's right. Because a lot of people, they say they serve, they say they serve, serve God, but they're going to celebrate Christmas. They say they serve God, they're going to celebrate Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day. That's not in the Bible, bro, That's for right. us to do it. But guess what? God tells us not to celebrate Christmas at all. Did you know that? You heard that? But you want you want you want to go get it to show where it's at? It's literally in the scripture telling you not to do it. Bring it out. Watch this, read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Bring it out. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So what he's been to report, what, what he's been to read, the Lord said, learn not this way. So when we learn not this way, mean what? Don't do it, right? Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. He said, don't be just dismayed at the signs of heaven, because guess what? They might start shooting firecrackers up in the air or something, man. Fourth of July or something, right? But watch it. Scripture gonna say it plain though, right? Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh -huh. For the customs of the people are vain. All these customs that we finna read right here, this is a vain custom, right? Read. For one cut at the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen. So back in the days when they were gonna go going to the Christmas tree, guess what? They had to go to the forest and go cut it down, right? Watch it. With the axe, they deck it with silver and with gold. They said they decked this tree with silver and gold. What was that, brother? That's Christmas, right? Right? Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it moved not. So guess what? Back in the day, they just they just fashioned it down with, with, with nails and hammer. But nowadays, they got a tree stand. Yeah, right? But we got to think about this, man. I'm going to pull this short out of place, ain't it? God dang, he saw hit your arm get the pole like uh, Bruce Willis. <laughs> Read. <laughs> they are upright as the palm tree. Yeah, they are upright. Guess what? The Christmas day hold the Christmas. That's why they fashioned it down with nails so they can be upright like the palm tree. Read. But speak not. Uh -huh. They must needs be born. They must needs be born, meaning that we got to carry this to our house, put it in our house, and guess what? Deck it with silver and gold. Who puts a tree up and deck it with silver and gold? This is what the Lord told us not to do. Why do they deck? Uh, why do they put a tree up in the mall during Christmas time and deck it with silver and gold? Bring it up. Bring why it up. do they go into these churches and put a big old Christmas tree in the middle of the church, deck it with silver and gold? Bring it up. The Lord specifically told us not to do that. So why do they do it? All oh, this Jesus Christ's birthday, prove it through the scriptures. Right, they can't prove it. But well, guess what? The Lord told us not to do it. So guess what? We ain't gonna do it. Right. right. That's what the Lord looking for people to see. If I ever I tell you, tell them not to do something, if they don't do it, that's the ones I'm looking for. But the ones I told to do something, they go do it. That's the one I'm looking for. The Lord ain't look, the Lord looking for obedience. That's the same thing he told Saul. He said obedience is better than sacrifice, bro. That's right. Right. So this is why we trying to get our brothers and sisters to get built up. Could come out here and go teach more people so they can get built up too, man. That's right. right? Let's go to Matthew chapter 26, verse 6, man. We hope, man, like you say, man, our numbers and everything on that fly, brother, we hope you come over and come check us out, man. Like, for real, for real, so you can come over and learn this thing, man. Because you ain't learning it just for yourself, man. Guess what? It might be a family member that got to know this. Mama might not might have to know this, man. But the thing is, this word going in your mouth is, is, is sweet just to know that you are Israelite. But guess what? It hurts, guess what, to know to see the condition of our people, man. Right?